Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Kumo Pakistan. I'm your host Jahan Said. Today we have come to visit Taxla Museum and surrounding archaeological remains. Now we are heading towards Dharma Rajika Stupa and Monastery. It is one of the oldest stupa in the area. It is back around 2500 years old, built in um, 200 to 300 BC. Ashoka came himself here in this area to erect the stupa. Dharma, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can see the boats, the plan of the uh, of the whole area is also put on the map. Uh, here's the complete information you can get both in Urdu and English. Now let's go and discover the stupa and monastery. The path is very serene and very peaceful. It, it feels great to walk in these ancient cities. Green Greenery on both sides make it very beautiful. But they seem to be very advanced people. They have built everything in a proper geometry. The streets. This is a pond. Water found remains of fountains and other toiletries, articles everywhere. <clears throat> How beautiful it would have been under the old banyan tree, water and fountains and monks preaching and meditating here. It would have been a great scene. It shows the design of the walls which they erected. It's an old chapel which has been protected. This boat shows the information, stucco relief, reliefs of Kandara's school. So there was a school, it, 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 they had one of the oldest universities in this area where monks came, they meditated, they performed prayers and they learned knowledge. Students from all parts of the world came here in this area at the Therma Rajika Stup. These are the meditation rooms, meditation cells made for the Buddhists Therma Rajika Stupa. Now the front view of the stairs, there are stairs on uh, four sides of the stupa. It's made in the rounded shape. People came in different eras and built various stupas and rooms for meditation. Rectangular stupa with engravings carved on it and uh, this is a uh, magnificent, truly marvelous sight here to visit in Texel or Pakistan. You should visit it. And uh, this looks very unique. And uh, this side is uh, this side looks uh, quite bigger as compared to the other sides. And look at the design. And uh, it sh the whole building should have been covered with this, uh, this, this tile, but it was later destructed by earthquakes or some other reasons. Look at this. This is really marvelous. Extremely fine architecture. The stone has been carved in very, in very fine. In very fine way, in a perfect, the perfect geometry, rooms of equal size have been built. In a in a in a truly circular way, all around the stupa. This is the third stairway to go upside the stupa, and all along the way. All along the path, there are rooms, the rooms made for monks. Truly fascinating experience to walk around this area. 
this is the fourth staircase and um, it's truly amazing this is the front view of the stupa rocks all over it is truly a gem the unesco world heritage site the large feet of the buddha sculpture and uh, buddha sitting in a meditating meditation mode buddhism was a very prevalent religion in ancient india still seven around seven percent of people around 520 billion 220 million people follow buddhism and it's a great site for them to visit and discover not only for Buddhists, but for all the people who love history or archaeology. Nastri area starts, some people are sitting under the tree, enjoying the uh, the shade of a tree. The monastery area is also very large. These are these are very fascinating remains. Very big halls and rooms have been constructed. These are, I think, they have, they would have, they have they kept some uh, some sculptures under them, because the sculptures of Buddha were very, very sacred for Buddhas, Buddhists, and they preserved them and they kept them very dear to them. It's a very large pond for taking baths. To meditate for meditation how fascinating it would have been between the mountains at a very beautiful site the view of pond and the and the here is another pond this is smaller in size but it is very deep very deep. These are, I think, um, places to sit after taking bath or or some kind of for some kind of meditation. Here is the here is the sculpture of the Buddha. The Buddhas or the Buddha sculptures. The Buddhists and monks used to meditate. Small sculptures of Buddha. Many of them have been removed and taken to the Texula Museum nearby. You can see many sculptures there. I hope you all enjoyed the trip of Dharmaraji Kastupa and Monastery with me. For more similar videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you. Goodbye.